What is a cracking people? This is the last video of this series monster chase game, which is a 2D platformer-ish game in Godot game engine. So uh, let's get into it. We need to detect collision between the player and the zombies and kill him. We need to also prevent collision between the zombies and themselves. And uh, yeah, we also need to restart the game when the player dies. So let's take a look at how we can do all of that. So yeah. So the first thing that I am going to do I am going to go over here in our green zombie and we are going to undo the collision with the zombies. So I'm going to make sure that the zombies are not colliding with each other. So we can do that by selecting the, the green zombie game object over here, the kinematic body. And here for the collision, I am going to set the layer over here where it is, but the mask, I'm going to move it over here. So make sure that you move the mask over here. Do the same thing for the red zombie. So let's go over here, collision, move the mask over here. Also for the ghost, select him, collision, and here move the mask and everything is going to be okay. Simple fix is that. So if I command B to run our game, we are going to see now that our zombies are not hitting each other. Or actually they can hit each other, but they're going to simply pass between each other you see okay but i can collide with them so i can collide with them so they collided with me okay now you see the zombie has passed and we have another ghost and now you saw they passed through each other so yeah you saw it uh i'm not gonna repeat it again you saw it you're not blind okay what is the next step well here i'm gonna go on the player and select the player and command b or actually right click and attach an area 2d so i'm going to attach an area 2d and what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on this collision shape and I'm going to duplicate this one and I'm going to resize it like this or actually no, 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 delete it. Why, why did I duplicate it? Resize the collision like this. So simply resize the collision like this. But here for the area 2D, I'm going to right click and add another collision 2D or collision shape. And here for the empty, we're going to select here a rectangular shape, but this one so select this one, I'm going to resize this bad boy. So let me just move him over here, something like this. Just a little more, a little bit upwards. No, select this one. Okay, this one, and voila. So these are going to be, this is going to be our collision. Now, what we need to do is we need to create a function. So select the collision area and go here under node. And here we're going to select this body entered. So make sure you select that. Connect it with the player over here. So connect this at the bottom right corner. And here I'm simply going to call this function on body entered and I'm going to connect it. So let's go in the player and here I'm going to say void on body entered, which takes a physics body 2D, which I'm simply going to call body. What's going to happen over here? Well, here we're going to test if the body, so if body is in group enemy like this, then what's going to happen? We are going to queue free our player. But first of all, let me just select this enemy, copy this. So we need to go back here in our engine, select the green zombie and here, green zombie and where it says node signals we have down the right side group select the group and here paste the enemy and click add do the same thing for the red zombie so here paste add go here on the ghost do the same thing and paste it and voila we're good to go so what's going to happen now if i command b we are going to go over here and when one of the zombies or monsters touches us, we are going to see one thing. First of all, we're going to have an error. We're going to fix it, don't worry. But let me just show you that. Bam, you see, we crashed, our, our app crashed. What happened here? Well, in the camera follow on line 23, camera follow, line 23, this is the error. The error is we are using the player target, but we have died. This is why we're gonna use player died variable over here. So when we die, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to say get the parent, which is the gameplay parent. Then I'm going to say get the node and the node is gonna be camera follow. So camera follow. And the name of the node is gonna be main cam. So main camera dot player died is equal to true. So we need to inform it. You see player died is true so that this right here will be true so if player died we're gonna hit return and we are not gonna follow the player let's check that out so command b to run our game again and see will that work 
So now when one of the zombies touches us, we're gonna die, but the game is not going to. So let's go over here. And now, bam, you see, I've died. You see, I've died, but the game is still on. The game is still on and we didn't crash, okay? So what is the next step? We need to restart the game when we die. And for that, we're gonna select our gameplay and go inside. So go inside of the gameplay. And what we are going to do is here below, I'm going to create void. So void underscore on player underscore died like this. And here simply I'm going to say get the tree dot reload the current scene. And here I'm going to simply say public void player died like this. And I'm going to say here restart dot start now what is this restart well here on top we are going to create a private timer that i'm going to call restart like this and here inside of our ready function we're going to say restart is equal to get the node which is going to be our timer node and i'm going to call it restart like this so now we need to create it so let's go here and let's go in our engine select the gameplay and add a child it's going to be a timer and double click on it and rename it to restart. We do need to copy this function name, so on player died, so make sure that you copy it. And selecting the on or restart, go in the node and signals, select the timeout, connect it on the gameplay and paste here. So we are going to paste the on player died and connect it. Everything is okay, the only thing that is left for us to do is go back here in the inspector, select the timer. And here I'm going to check one shot and I'm going to say here two, which means after two seconds, we are going to call it. So when we call over here, so when we call restart after two seconds, it will call this signal over here and voila, that is that. And we are only going to call it once. That's why I set here one shot to be true because we don't want to restart the game 2000 times when the player dies. And over here in the player, when we die, so we get the parent over here for the camera to inform the camera that we have died, but we also need to say here, get the parent, which is going to be our gameplay. And we need to say here, player died to inform it that the player has died, which will in turn go back here in the gameplay. It will call this right here, restart, start. After two seconds, it will call this and we will restart our game. So if I command B now, so command B, Let's take a look at here what we have. So here, and let's try to jump. And now when we die, so let me just wait over here because one of the monsters will show up eventually. Bam, we died. Boom, the game has restarted. Okay, you see now, congratulations. You have created a 2D platformer. Maybe this is not technically a 2D platformer, but probably some of you wise guys will, will correct me and I don't care about that. You're here to learn. I named it 2D platformer because I didn't know the, gen the genre of this game. Anyways, you can download the complete project. Link will be in the description below along with this. With the assets, you can use them for whatever you wanna use them. Of course, you're gonna use it to follow the tutorial, but congratulations, you have created your first game in the Godot game menu engine my brother and until next time far here from us com. if you want to try out my game dev academy for two bucks one month click the link below and i will see you guys in another video